Hi Pisces, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. If you're cross watching for a Pisces, keep in mind that the energies could be reversed. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. If you're looking for the single section of the reading, you can find the timestamp in the description box along with the cross watcher segment. All right, let's see. Spirit, connect with the Pisces, please. Pisces and the person they're dealing with. Pisces and the person they are dealing with. Let's see what happened in the past. How would Pisces know who this is? Well, you could be dealing with another Pisces. Uh, they hit a lot. Very secretive. Let's see. What exactly were they hiding? What exactly were they hiding? Wow. They were hiding their pain, guys. They were hiding the Four of Swords. You know what comes before the Four of Swords, the Three of Swords. So somebody was hiding pain. For some of you guys, you see up in that window, for some of you guys, they could have been hiding a family, okay? And the pain they felt because this person, there's a sense of responsibility, okay, they feel, and it causes them pain. I feel like this person also hid a lot of things that were, you know, this, there's a lot, there's more on this person's mind than you would realize just by looking at them or having a conversation with them, they actually had a lot more going on in their head. And I also feel like this person is hiding why they took a step back from you. I feel like there's no answers there. The moon can talk about an illusion, okay? This person may, because I just saw the magician, this person may have came in and created this illusion, uh, you know, it's very manipulative. It's like this person wanted to pretend to be somebody else. That's why they were living this double life. see this person how does Pisces currently see this person spirit knight of pentacles you see them as slow so like you're under the impression this person is slowly moving towards you let's see what else three of wands I'm just getting like I know you're somewhere out there thinking it like you know this person is thinking of you and, and you know we'll get some more cards out but you would be correct so like you see them somewhere far away, slowly coming towards you. You also have this whole future planned, I believe, where you know what you two could be given the chance. This is deep, guys. How does Pisces feel? How does Pisces feel about this person, please? You want another chance with them, okay? Some of you guys, you are judging their actions harshly or, you know, accordingly. But you would like another chance with this person. You would like to speak with this person. Or some of you guys just want to give them a second chance. But it's like an energy of waiting for someone to come forward to give you the opportunity to give them a second chance. How do they see Pisces? The lovers could have a Gemini placement, also could have uh, an Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio placement. You also could be dealing with another Pisces, but guys, this person's thinking a lot about you. Four of Pentacles, but they're very guarded. 
So they see you as the lovers. They see you as, you know, a lover, a romantic interest. For some of you guys, they see you as an option, a choice of theirs, a direction they could go in. But I have to tell you guys, for a lot of you guys, this person does have a choice between you and someone else, and they're choosing you. Okay, is what because they're not even present wherever they are with this four of swords energy. This person is not present. Like they might physically be there, but they're not mentally there. They're not emotionally in it. Wherever they are, okay, because I'm, I'm getting they're they're wondering what you're up to. They're thinking about where are you? How do they feel? How do they feel? The Knight of Cups. They feel romantic feelings for you. This is somebody feeling like they owe you a big apology. And I gotta tell you guys, this person doesn't necessarily understand why they're feeling this way. Because that lover's energy, that's like, this surpasses all logic. It feels like a past life connection, whether they describe it that way or not. It's just the feeling they get is so much familiarity they feel about you like they've known you before it's very possible that you two could have shared past lives together um but that's an energy that they're getting from you it's just like you could be this forbidden fruit though with the lovers this apple okay that they want to take a bite out of and they it's forbidden but they're motivated by their romantic feelings to come in and apologize to you they definitely feel like you're owed one. What do they want from Pisces? Five of Pentacles in reverse. They want to come out of the cold. So it's like something, you know, it's, an, it's this energy of them abandoning you. And possibly not giving you an explanation with the moon, like not giving you a reason why. And I feel like that bothers them. But at the same time, there's this energy of them still remaining where they are, okay? So what they want is the five of pentacles in reverse. They want to come back or they want to get out of the cold with you. But when it's upright, this is like neglecting, abandoning, abandoning. Someone could have abandoned you, and they want to come back. King of Pentacles. They want to offer you something stable. So I also feel like this person could be suffering through some type of, like, specifically, guys, somebody's trying to get their finances in order. With the five pentacles in reverse, the king of pentacles, someone's trying to protect their assets, get their finances in order here. But they want something stable with you is what, it's, what they want, the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles is a provider. Swords to guys. There's a conversation coming, and I see a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and more clarity coming from this person in the future. You know, and it's an energy of them feeling like it's mutual. Like they know you have the same feelings. Like I, I feel like they want to know exactly how you're feeling. They do, but it's also because the Knight of Cups can be a question. But it's also, and so can this Ace of Swords with the Two of Cups. Like, I do feel like this person is wondering if you feel the same. But there's also an energy of them knowing you feel the same. But they want to hear you say it with the Ace of Swords. They want to feel it as you say it. Very strong, very strong feelings they have for you. So what are their next actions? Spirit, what are their next actions towards Pisces, please? What are their next actions towards Pisces? Okay, Ten of Swords, ending something. Let's see. Page of Cups. Oh my gosh. 
They're ending a connection or a situation to start fresh. So I, I see you hearing from this person, but they have to end something first. There's something, their next actions are to complete something, close out a cycle in their life, and then start new. Let's get further clarification. Strength card. That's them finding the courage to do this. The confidence, the courage to put an end to something. Because something's clearly done in their life. And they're wanting to reach out to you and start new with you. Ten of Swords, though. I feel like they have to go through some type of painful ending that has nothing to do with you. Like there's a draining situation they have to go through first. But this is them finding the courage to do so. What's their hidden truth? Because they do want to put an end to something else that they started in the past. Now, it depends on which side you're on here, okay? This is a general reading for some of you guys. This could be somebody you have a family with, someone you're committed to. And it's like this person is thinking about you when you're gone regardless and thinking about those commitments. So just take it how it resonates for your situation, okay? What's their hidden truth? They still feel pain. They're not over you. Give me one more. They hide their feelings. Bottom of the deck, it says, I love you. Signs you could be dealing with. Could be dealing with a Leo, a Gemini, another Pisces, an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. Okay, it could be um, a Cancerian as well, or an Earth sign. But only take the messages that resonate and how they resonate, guys. Okay, we're going to move on to the single segment. Let's see. You can click the timestamp in the description box to bypass the shuffling. Just a reminder. Okay, so my single Pisces, single Pisces. Who is coming in for my single Pisces? So let's see. Single Pisces, please. Okay. Okay, so we have home. So I see you working on your own foundation right now, single Pisces. Building your own stability here. Look at that money. Some of you guys are just uh, stable on your own, or that's what you're working towards, being stable on your own. I do see some wealth coming in for you, okay? I do see some of you guys, this is a new living situation for you. And I'm definitely seeing you make more money. Let's get one more. You guys could be selling real estate here. Or this is like a new foundation you've built for yourself is what I'm getting. And it's one filled with like luck and prosperity. I'm also hearing the property is yours. It's going to be yours. Okay, we have past love. This is a past lover. Um, so, you know, some of you guys could, of course, be going through a situation where you're moving out of a living situation. Some of you guys may have done that in the past, okay? Um, and you're getting, you're gaining stability on your own. 
Now, another message for another group of you Pisces. There is a past love just coming out um, right here. You know, thinking about you. That's very common right now with the current astrology. Yeah, someone knows your quality. Uh, and someone knows your value that you were really uh, a true gem, Pisces. A very unique There could be something here about a piece of jewelry as well. There's a piece of jewelry that's significant on this person's mind. Could have been children involved too for some of you, but... Who's coming towards my single Pisces? Could be a Scorpio coming in, but looks like a rebirth that you're going through yourself. Let's get out the rest of the cards. You're being seen as uh, having a guard up, Pisces. Look at that. I see you in a stable relationship. That's what's coming in for you, okay? That's what that that's what's next, a stable relationship, okay? You are going to be falling for somebody. This is a fresh start, though, guys. Ace of Wands. How they feel. They feel like you guys are getting a fresh start. So what is coming towards Pisces? Let's get a little what area. Page of Cups, a proposal, an offer. I do see you married in the future. Those of you that are wanting that, or I definitely see a talk about marriage or talk about uh, commitment in general. So some of you guys are somebody that you have a crush on here in the future contacting you. Like I see messaging back and forth. But let's see, why the death card? Could be connecting with a Scorpio. Uh, Ten of Swords. There is the past coming towards you as well. So Page of Cups. New love and past love wanting to come in. Who will you choose? It's up to you. But there's somebody here, Pisces, that has ended. The situation is over. But I feel like you're going through some type of transformation or rebirth before they show back up. You're going to have multiple options. And you know, it's really up to you. You're going to have the choice. Yeah, you're going to be feeling like you're getting a lot of attention in the future. Very interesting. And you know what? Those of you that will be allowing this new person to court you, the past person will be seeing that. Somehow this past person's going to see that. And it's like, in that moment, you know, they truly recognize what they've lost and that someone else is getting a chance with you. So I just feel like you're getting a lot of attention here in the future, Pisces. It's from a past love and from a new love, Page of Cups. Strength in reverse. They can't hold back anymore. Could be a Leo. So I am getting what they like about you. They find you really attractive. But they see you as the devil. Their obsession. Hmm. Their obsession. But you're guarded. They see you as stuck in your decision. Or like, I feel like this person right now is seeing you as you've made up your mind about them. Guys. So it really depends on what you want to do with this. So I do see a chance to make amends with someone here. And reconcile and get back with someone okay just saying I see that you don't have to do it but for others of you I am seeing you know new love as well like I'm seeing multiple options I'm seeing you get a lot of attention king of pentacles there is a new person coming in that's stable financially I feel like they have their own place they make good money so you do have this past person that's wanting to reconcile, and then you have this new person. The new person is single. The new person is ready. Could be a Capricorn, Leo, Scorpio. So it's, it's not, I mean, it's not really telling me what you're going to choose. It's really up to you. But mark my words, there is a past person. There's a situation getting uh, resurrected. Somebody wants to come back from the dead here. But there's also this new love offer coming towards you as well. All right. 
we're going to do the cross watchers section. <laughs> All right, Pisces, let's see. So, Spirit, Aries through Pisces, please. Cross watchers, watch their sign only. Aries through Pisces, Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. If you are dealing with an Aries, this Aries is sneaky. Watch out. This Aries is wearing a mask. They're not who they say they are. I feel like they have an identity issue. Point blank. This Aries has an identity issue with the Seven of Swords. Is that something you really want to deal with? Eight of Wands. They do want to communicate. Uh, yeah, I'm just getting an identity issue. Um, if you're dealing with a Taurus, this Taurus is manipulative. <laughs> they want to communicate though. They're strategically held back from you. If you're dealing with a Gemini, the Gemini is spying on you. They're finding a way to keep tabs on you somehow, whether it's through your social media. Maybe they created another social media account just to watch you. For some of you guys, it's uh, they're asking around about you, but this is somebody that has been stalking you, this Gemini. If you're dealing with a Cancerian, they want, oh. Ten of Wands, Eight of Swords. They purposely keep themselves held back. They think the situation's too much work right now. They're really in their head about you, though. This isn't a self-imposed cage. If you're dealing with a Leo, this, this Leo is really into themselves, the sun, but they do like you. They do see you, is what I'm getting with the sun. You make them happy. But for the sun to come out, they're, you know... I feel like this Leo could be very vain. Um, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying, you know, okay. If you're dealing with a Virgo, this Virgo wants to cooperate. They want to work things out with you. If it's a new Virgo, they want to date you, get to know you. This Virgo thinks you have attractive qualities. You're exactly what they've been looking for. If you're dealing with a Libra, this Libra is a lot of drama right now. They're going through a lot of drama and they would bring that into your life. It could be baby mama drama or baby daddy drama, whatever. Okay, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, they want to come back. They want to turn things around. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, uh, they feel really distant from you right now, but I'm getting there is a mo there is some motivation to come towards you. Yeah, they want to make peace with you. dealing with a Capricorn this Capricorn wants your forgiveness if you're dealing with an Aquarius this Cap this Aquarius oh they're in pain let's see they want to make peace with you they want to communicate eight of wands they're in a lot of pain right now I feel like this um, Aquarius could have even betrayed you guys okay if you're dealing with another Pisces this Pisces is focused on their own work focus on their career guys just double checking all right Pisces I hope this gave you some clarity uh keep in mind that if it wasn't your message to check back next time or check your other signs I did just do an all sign reading their feelings for you this week if you want to go check that out it is on my channel and thank you guys so much for hitting the like button I do appreciate your support I appreciate it so much it does help my channel out until next time bye